So you want to use images inside of your Android application? Well, then Glide is the best possible solution for that. Glide is a third-party library that will make your life a lot easier and using the default functionality for image views is really a pain in the butt. So I would recommend to use Glide. And in this video, you are going to learn how to use Glide in your applications. And by the way, if you don't want to miss out on any of our other Android videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and the like button while you're at it. And now let's get started. All right, so let's look at Glide. And first of all, what is Glide? Well, Glide is a fast and efficient image loading library for Android focused on smooth scrolling. Glide offers an easy to use API, a performant and extensible resource decoding pipeline and automatic resource pooling. So this is the coolest part in my opinion because it really helps us to just use Glide in many different cases no matter what the source image is like. Okay, so if it comes for example from a link or if it comes from the file system of the device and so forth. It really is super smart. It understands directly what to do with whatever we're giving to it, which is always going to be an image, of course, but we can give it in different formats. So basically you can see you use Glide with the fragment in which you want to display it or the activity. Then you load, for example, the URL, and then you say into which image view you want to put that image. And that's basically it. It's really one line of code, basically, which is enough for you to assign an image from a website directly into your application it's image view. Okay, so let's have a look at that in an actual project. And by the way, I would really recommend to check out the documentation. There you will find a lot more. There's also a GitHub repository where they show you what to do. So first of all, you need to make sure you have these repositories as well as these dependencies. So let me go ahead and create a new demo here, new project, and I'm going to use the empty activity, the default one. I'm going to call this one Glide Demo. You can call it however you want. We're going to use Kotlin here and the minimum SDK API 21 as usual. And then once the project is loaded, you can go to the Gradle file. So the build.gradle file, the app one in particular, make sure that you have the right dependencies included, which are the ones that we just saw. And it's this line here where you need to make sure to add Glide from com.github.bumptech.glide as well as the compiler with the annotation processor. So we need to add those two dependencies and then of course sync it. So click sync now. And now you can use Glide in your application. So the next thing that I'm going to set up straight away is going to be in my manifest. I'm going to add the permission request for internet because I need to make sure that I have internet permissions in order to basically load an image from a URL and display it in my application. So the next thing that I will do is I'm going to get rid of this text view here and instead I'm going to use a couple of image views. Okay, so I'm just going to paste them in here. You can follow along if you want, but basically this is really just for demonstration purpose. This is so here inside of the constraint layout I'm going to put the three image views. So one of them is going to be called image one, the second one image two, and the third one image three, and all of them will have a width and height of 150 density pixels. And that's how the UI will then look like. So you have three image views here. It's really not about making a nice application, it's really about how to use Glide in this video. Okay, so once you have that, the next step would be to have a URL that you want to display. And this URL can come from many different sources. You could get that from an API. You could get that from whatever source you have, okay? The user could select it, for example, on the device and so forth. So I'm just going to use this image here, which is just a generic image URL. And I'm going to store that in this image variable, which is going to be of type string, of course. So you can see this is just this image that if you check it in the browser, will be this image here of our little Android with a little gradient. Now, the next thing that I need to set up are going to be the images. And I could use view binding here, but I'm just going to use find view by ID here to keep it simple. 
And if you want to know more about view binding, check out my video on it. I created an extra video explaining the different approaches that you can take. But for this very simple example, it's really not worth the effort to set up view binding. Okay, so we are going to find the view by ID for image one, image two, and image three in order to make sure that we have access to all three images throughout our application. Now let's use Glide here. And that will be the part where it's super cool because as you saw in the documentation, you just need to pass the context, in this case, the activity. In the case you are using a fragment, then it will be the fragment. Then you just need to say what you want to load. And as you see, it can be a bitmap, it can be a drawable, it can just be a string, a URI, which means a directory on your device or a URL. It can be a file, a raw resource, a drawable resource, and it can even be a model of high byte array or even any. So you can throw in so much different stuff in here. It says URL is crossed out here, but I'm still going to use my image URL here from the top that I have there. And then I just need to say where I want this image to appear. And I want this image to be appear in my image one, which is basically this image view that we have here. Okay, so this is the image view one. You could call this image view one if you wanted to make it a little more precise, but well, that will do the trick. Now let's run our application and see if this is going to work for us. So you're learning something about Android app development in this video, and maybe you want to learn a lot more about it, then you can check out one of my two courses. So if you are a beginner Android developer, then I would highly recommend to check out my Android masterclass course. There you will learn to build Android apps from scratch and you become a real Android developer. Or maybe you want to become a better Android developer because you are one already and you want to become a real pro, then I would recommend to check out the Jetpack Masterclass because there you will learn how to use Jetpack, which is a suite of frameworks that will make sure that you are a senior app developer. All right, so I would really recommend to check out those courses if you want to step up your app development skills very quickly. You can find a link in the description below, which will send you to the course with a huge discount. All right, so Thanks a lot for checking out those courses. This really helps us out and this enables us to create these videos. Either way, I wish you a nice journey to becoming a great app developer. And now let's get back to the video. And you can see it took care of the work for us. And that is really super cool because we didn't have to use all of this boilerplate code of downloading this image, then making sure the format is right and all of that. No, nope. everything was taken care of by Glide. So really, really powerful tool. Now let's look at another example. Let's take care of image two. Therefore, I'm going to use with again, then I'm going to load the image once again. And this time I'm going to give it a couple more settings. So for example, I can make sure that the image is fit towards the center. So if you have different formats for your images, for example, you can fit it into the center. Then you can, for example, crop it in a circle format, or you can use a center crop. You see, there are different kinds of options what you can do. So there's a lot going on here, you see. You can set the thumbnail and there's a lot going on. So really, I would recommend to just play around with it. So I'm just going to use a circle crop here. And then I'm going to even add a disk cache strategy. And here I can define the disk cache strategy all. What this will do is it will set the available caching strategy for the media and caches remote data with both link data and link resource and local data with the resource only. So basically what this will allow us to do is to cache the data. And then I'm even going to use a placeholder here. Okay, so you can see there are placeholders, either a resource ID or a drawable that you created beforehand, but I'm just going to use the resource ID here. So I need to have an image in my project. So therefore you can go over to your drawables and you can of course use your IC launcher background as a default image, but I'm just going to use an image that I've prepared here, which is this image that I'm gonna paste in 
this image placeholder, which is this image here. So you see, we got it from html.com, pretty good image, 300 times 300, very good stuff. So here I can now go ahead and just use my image placeholder. Of course, I need to say where it's from. It's from our drawable dot, and there we have this image placeholder. And if it doesn't appear correctly straight away, you just need to re-enter the name because it didn't find it straight away. And now the most important part, of course, is to say where I want this image to appear. And I want it to appear in the image view too. So image two will be the image view. Now let's rerun the application. And you will see now you have a rounded image. I can tell you it's a pain in the butt to create a rounded image without glide. It's really hard. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of code going on if you want to achieve this same functionality and behavior. And that's really the beauty of glide. Glide takes care of that and just does it for us. Really, really powerful tool. I can really recommend to use it. So now let's look at the third example. All right, I'm going to basically use the same image once again here, load the image. This time, however, I'm going to override. So I'm going to override the width and height. You see there are different kind of options you have here, override height, override width, or override both of them. So I'm going to override both of them and I'm going to say, okay, I want to use the size of 300 times 400, for example. And I want to center crop the image. You see there is also center inside, for example, as an option. And then if there should be an error occurring, I'm going to say, okay, if there is an error, just go ahead and use my replacer image. So my placeholder image. And of course, put it into the image three. So here into image three. Okay, let's run this again and see what kind of result we get. And you can see now we have the image in this format. So we change the width to 300, the height to 400, and that is basically it. Now there is something that you will notice potentially. So if you look at this and you yeah, basically remember how we set up the image width and height, you see that we used 150 density pixels here. And then you can already see that this, what we used here were pixels and not density pixels. So here we use 300 pixels as the width and 400 as the height. Here at the top, we used 150 for both directions, density pixels and not pixels. And this is really showing you the power of density pixels versus pixels because on a different device, on not the 3A, for example, this would have looked very differently. Okay, so this might have been much bigger image on a device that has less pixels, for example, in general. So this depends on the pixel density of the device that you're using, of the screen of the device that you're using. Okay, and that was basically the introduction to Glide and a couple of things that you can do with it. There is a lot more that you can do and you can even wait for the image to load and then only execute code once the image is loaded using a listener. So this will then allow you to basically add a request listener here and only execute what is inside of this listener once the image is actually loaded. Because this can take a while depending on the internet connection, the speed that you have there. Okay, so now I would like to show you real quickly what this error is because I believe that this will be interesting because, well, I explained it, but Let's actually see how this is going to take place in our application. So therefore, I'm going to uninstall this application so that th there's nothing in the cache because these images, they will be in the cache even if I rerun the application. And now let me use a slower internet, something like 3G, UMTS. Okay, if I run the application now, it will first of all load this placeholder, which is there by default as we set it up here as a default placeholder. But here it's only going to use this image once there is an error. So only once this error occurred, this placeholder was set there. So you see, it's probably a little too slow, this internet to run these images or to download these images because they're just too big. So then instead we can use, let's say LTE here. 
and let's rerun the application. And you can see with LTE, the placeholder was displayed here in the middle. The error never occurred and the images were loaded as soon as they were basically downloaded. So as soon as our device downloaded them and you also saw that they were all loaded at the same time. So it didn't download the image once again and again for each of the entries. It just had them in cache and then just set them up for the different image views. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you know how to use Glide and I hope you will use it in your Android applications. And at this point, if you haven't liked the video yet, please do so. And if you don't wanna miss out on any of our other tutorials, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We're uploading videos weekly. And also maybe this or that video is interesting for you, then check it out. Anyways, I wish you a nice day.